Looping is a program that may require that a group of instructions be executed repeatedly until some logical condition has been satisfied. We have the following looping statements. Firstly, while loop, do while loop and for loop. The while loop executes a block of code while a condition is true. The while statement is used to carry out looping operations in which a group of statements is executed repeatedly until some condition has been satisfied. The general form of the while statement is while expression statement. The statement will be executed repeatedly as long as the expression is true, that is, as long expression has an and zero value. This statement can be simple or compound though it is usually a compound statement. It must include some feature that eventually alters the value of the expression, thus providing a stopping condition for the loop. The syntax. While, condition, code to be executed. Here is an example on consecutive integer quantities. Suppose we want to display the consecutive digits 1 till 9, with one digit on each line. This can be accomplished with the following program. Each line will contain a successive integer value beginning with 0 and ending with 9. Thus, when the program is executed, the following output will be generated. Example 2. This is a variation of example 1. This program can be written more concisely as displayed below. And, when executed, this program will generate the same output as the first program. Example 3 on while statement, averaging a list of numbers. Pseudocode. Let us now use a while statement to calculate the average of a list of n numbers. Our strategy will be based on the use of a partial sum that is initially set equal to zero, then updated as each new number is read into the computer. Thus, the problem very naturally lends itself to the use of a while loop. The calculations will be carried out in the following manner. Assign a value of 1 to the integer variable count. This variable will be used as a loop counter. Assign a value of 0 to the floating point variable sum. Read in the value for the integer variable n. Carry out the following steps repeatedly as long as count does not exceed n. Read in one of the numbers in the list. Each number will be represented by the floating point variable x. Add the value of x to the current value of sum. Increase the value of count by 1. Divide the value of sum by n to obtain the desired average. Write out the calculated value for the average. Example 3 on while statement. Averaging a list of numbers. Here is the actual C program. Notice that the input operations are all accompanied by prompts that trust the user for the required information. This program can be written as follows. Notice that the while loop contains a compound statement which, among other things, causes the value of count to increase. Eventually, this will cause the logical expression count less than equal to n to become false, thus terminating the loop. Also, note that the loop will not be executed at all if n is assigned a value that is less than 1, which, of course, would make no sense. Do our loop statement loops through a block of code once and then repeats the loop as long as a specified condition is true. The general form of the do our statement is do statement while expression the statement will be executed repeatedly as long as the value of expression is true, that is, is non-zero. Syntax the syntax for do, while loop is written as follows, you write down do, then you open braces, you write down the code to be executed, and then close the braces. Then you write down while, 
and the condition in between brackets to finally execute the program. Example 1 on do our loop consecutive integer quantities. Here is another program to do the same thing using the do while statement in place of the while statement. Note that the test is carried out at the end of each pass through the loop. The net effect is that the loop will be repeated 10 times, resulting in 10 successive lines of output. Each line will appear exactly as shown in the previous example.